Yo, Adam Saxon with Guy in a Cube. And in this video, we are gonna dive in a little bit to the publish to web feature and why it may be scary. Let's do this. If you're finding us for the first time, be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the videos from both Patrick and myself. All right, publish to web. Full disclosure, this idea actually came to me from a live stream that the two Alexes did where they looked at security and Power BI. Now, a lot of the items in this video I kind of knew about already, but I never really put it together. And so shout out to them in their live stream where they kind of walk through it. And I'm like, oh yeah, this is a little bit scary. You can go check them out. I'll have a link down in the description below. In this video, I'm not going to dive into all the aspects of Publish to Web. I did another video where I walked through Publish to Web and how to control that from a tenant setting perspective for admins and some of the new things that came out. So go check out that video if you're interested more about like what published to web actually is. There's some scary things about it if you're not familiar with it and you think that published to web is just something that you're enabling for your organization only. All right, enough of all this talking. Let's head over to my machine and see what's going on. All right, so I'm inside of Power BI. It's just a regular report. Everything's good. I did get a published to web token for this or embed code whatever you wanna call it. I've just put that URL, that embed code directly into the browser and I see the report. There is no authentication with this. We all know that. If you do a Bing search on this, you're not gonna see anything really. But if we go to Google and we do siteapp.powerbi.com and we do a search, look at that. All of these are published to web reports. Look at that. All of these are published to web reports. That is kind of scary. I'm not actually going to click on those. I just noticed there are published to web reports I can just go look at and just browse at my leisure. That's great. Also, you could do some interesting things and actually put some search words in front of that to filter it down even more. Not going to show that in this video, but you, your ideas are probably going at this point. So just be aware of that. This is something that is out there. If you do publish to web, these are public reports, right? There is no security. So you have to be careful with what you expose with publish to web. All right. Let's get back to my machine. I'll show you one other thing. So if we go to the actual publish to web report, if I actually open up developer tools on the browser, so I'm in Edge, can do the same thing in Chrome. Every browser pretty much has this. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna actually start recording. So this is gonna record all the traffic going back and forth between the Power BI report and the browser itself. So let's go ahead and do that. And then I'm gonna refresh the report page. It's gonna capture a bunch of stuff. All right, that's done. Let me go ahead and stop. Then I'm gonna fill Filter this down. The first thing I'm going to call out is model. And so we'll see a couple entries here. So if we go into this, the actual model itself, this is the information on the, the actual data set that's being used for the report. And so if we go and expand this, we can see a couple things here. We can see the display name is AdventureWorks. And then we can see other aspects of this model itself. So last refresh time. So this is just metadata about the data set itself. So the actual model where the data is stored. The other thing we're gonna search on is schema. And we'll see conceptual schema. This is the actual schema of the model itself. So we'll actually see as we do this, we'll see entities. And these are all the tables that are in the report. Yes, I have auto date time enabled on this report, uh, but you can go through and see those. And then if we dig into a table, we can actually then see the actual columns inside of that table itself. Now that in and of itself is not necessarily a big deal. I mean, yes, there's metadata that you can explore from a published web report. Technically you could do this too for a report that's in the service as well. So this is not something that's necessarily hidden, right? So you could do the same thing on a report in the service, get the same information. The thing about published to web, if we think about reports inside of Power BI, you can do what's called URL filtering. And so technically you could explore the model and the schema and get those items to filter down the data from a URL perspective. Publish to web doesn't support that, so that's good. If this was secure embed, you could actually apply those URL filters to the URL and further filter down the report. So that's something you can do just to explore, you know, if you're feeling up to it. In general, just Keep in mind that published to web again is public, right? So I'm showing you these things just to solidify that 
thought in your head. We've heard questions before about, hey, I have this published to web, but I put it behind a SharePoint site and you have to log into the SharePoint site. So that makes it secure. Go check out Patrick's video he did a while back where he talks about the fact that no, that's not the case. Me showing you the Google search, obviously it's out there, right? So people could potentially find that report. And if you're putting confidential data in that report, because you think it's not available publicly, you need to rethink that. One more thing I want to show you is a little tidbit for the admin. So let's head back over to my machine. I'm going to go to the admin portal and I'm going to go to embed codes. So this embed codes area is where you can actually see from an administrator perspective, what's actually shared from a published to web perspective. So all of these reports, these are all the published to web links that are available in our tenant. And so you know, you can scroll through these, go back and forth, and then you can also, uh, you can go through, you could delete these codes. You could go view the report as an admin. I really recommend that you go through and review these and then remove the ones that are inappropriate. Go talk to the folks that are doing this to understand why they're doing it, so on and so forth. So this is something you should absolutely be reviewing as a Power BI admin. All right, I wanna hand this over to you. What do you think? Did this scare you a little bit about published to web? Did you know that you could go do a Google search on those items? That blew my mind when the two Alexes showed me that. That was amazing. Let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are and let's keep the conversation going. If you like this video, be sure to hit that big thumbs up button, smash it if you so desire. If it's your first time here, hit that subscribe button. And as always from both Patrick and myself, thank you so much for watching, keep being awesome, and we'll see you in the next video.